Hi, I'm Seamus. I'm Candice. And um, we're back for another week of Open House Festival. This Saturday we have our biggest event of the month, our biggest event of the whole festival. Public Image Limited will be coming to Bangor Seafront, right here to this exact stage actually, to play an open air concert. It is John Lydon and Public Image's first time ever playing in Northern Ireland and they'll be playing hits from their huge back catalogue of punk hits, uh, including their very acclaimed second album, Metal Box. So you don't want to miss that. Yes. So support on the night comes from the Undertones, fantastic dairy punk band. Uh, I grew up with the Undertones, um, listening to their cassettes on long car journeys, so I'm really excited for that. And we also have the Outcasts and XSLF, uh, two fantastic punk bands uh, from the 70s who kind of made their name uh, in Belfast. Cool. Yeah, doors open at four o'clock and we still have tickets left, so see you there. So before all that kicks off, we have Breakfast Eric in Studio 1A Theatre. It'll be a fantastic small intimate show. Um, and for anyone that doesn't know, Breakfast Eric was signed with the fantastic comic label um, Stiff Records. Um, he's, his hit single, The Whole Wide World, uh, has been covered many times from uh, big stadium shows to just garden sheds. Um, there's still tickets available, uh, just go to the website to find out. Also in Studio 1A Theatre on Sunday evening, we're very lucky to have folk singer David Kitt playing an intimate seated show. Uh, this is following the release of his new album, Views, so there's still a few tickets left for that. And yeah, it would be a good one. Be great. And on the Sunday, we're very fortunate to have uh, Celtic Soul joined by the Arco String Quartet and the Oak House Festival Choir. Yeah, we also have a show on the Monday by then, but it's sold out, so if you want tickets, you have to come on Sunday. Uh, they'll be playing a celebration of Van Morrison's album Astral Weeks, which actually turns 50 this year. So lots of much love for Van Morrison songs in the beautiful surroundings of the Walled Garden. Feel free to bring a blanket, bring a picnic and come and enjoy some great music. So this is the last weekend of Open House Festival 2018 and to celebrate that we have 17 free music events happening all across Bangor. Yeah, the biggest one of those is going to be Bluegrass Picnic that will be in Ward Park on Sunday. This is an annual open house event that we're very excited about and we'll have one of our favourites at Open House, hopefully one of your favourites, the Clay Pigeons playing and also the Open House Festival Choir. So we're expecting sunshine and thousands of people, so bring your picnic and get ready for some bluegrass. So as well as all of our regular free music events such as uh, Tony Billy is in the Villains, um, Katie and the Midnight Sailors and Twitch and Quilly in, Hop in the Hop House, we also have some special punk music events um, just to celebrate the Public Image Weekend. And they're all free. Yes. <laughs> so on the Friday we have Seventh Sun, which are an Iron Maiden tribute act in the Goat's Toe. And in the Hop House we have Arse. On Saturday as a Pill pre-show, um, going two till four, um, Protex in Wolseys, um, which are one of Northern Ireland's original punk bands. Um, and the after shows for Pill, we have the Scallions at the Goat's Toe. Um, in Donegan's, we have the Poxmen. Uh, yeah, we have Stirred Up at the Rabbit Rooms. Those are vinyl DJs Craig Walker and Gareth McKinney. And then we have Arse playing again with special guests at Woolsey's and that will be members of early bands that first played the Trident back in November 1977. And for the morning after pill we have punk, a punk barbecue in Donegan's from 6 till 10 uh, which will feature an acoustic jam from Henry, Henry Clooney of XSLF, The Loose Tools, Darling Boy and loads more. Um, before Public Image Limited take to the stage on Saturday, we have a very special free event taking place at 1 o'clock at Woolsey's Bar on High Street. You may know that Woolsey's used to be known as the Trident, and the Trident is actually the birthplace of punk music in Ulster. Some very famous bands played there back in the 70s, and it also gets a mention in the song Alternative Ulster by Stiff Little Fingers. To commemorate the significance of the Trident in music history and in Bangor history, we wanted to erect a blue plaque. We weren't able to get an official blue plaque, so in true punk style, we decided to just make our own. So that's going to be unveiled, and everybody's welcome at 1 o'clock on Saturday at Wolves. <laughs> so for the first time since Open House and Finn in Bangor, uh, Transink have agreed to put on a special midnight train for us. Uh, it will leave uh, Bangor train station on the Saturday at 11.50pm. 
and we'll get to Central Station at six minutes past twelve. So that gives you a chance to go and enjoy some of those free after show gigs happening in Bangor and if you want to just to the home early. So this is our last video for Open House Festival 2018. Yeah, it's the last weekend of the festival but there's still lots happening next week right up until the 31st of August. Uh, yeah, one gig I'm really excited for next week is the Dark the Air at Space Theatre on Wednesday evening. Um, it's local duo Rachel McCarthy and Michael Keeney and they play fantastic melodic dark soulful tunes. I'd be really good. There's still a few tickets left as well, just check out the website. So that's us signing off. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Hope you've enjoyed them. We've enjoyed making them. And in the words of John Lydon himself, Bangers and energy. <laughs> Bangers and energy. And if you see Candice on Saturday, it's her birthday, so buy her a pint. <laughs>